Okay, so I did want to do one more ghost story before um, anything happens. Uh, this is when, a few weeks ago, I was traveling with my husband to work and it was a stormy, beautiful morning. We normally just sit there and zen for an hour and a half and I spend the day working with him. And while we were out on the highway, and oh, by the way, my husband has a 370Z, uh, just a couple years old, but we're out driving and we passed this race car that was being trailered somewhere. And I got his grandpa come through, Harry, and I don't know much about the family, I know a little bit, but um, I know he used to be working the oil fields and he's kind of like Bruce Willis's character, he was, in Armageddon. Like, if you have any problems, you have any issues, you call Harry, that kind of thing. He was the man. So that's all I knew. But when we're passing, I'm like, why is Harry popping through it? It doesn't make any sense. And everything and he kept talking about the car he kept talking about james's car how he liked the car all this kind of stuff and he kept talking about the performance or something and i couldn't understand why he was so hyped up on this car but it was the race car that brought him in but he was talking about james's car so finally i talked to james about it and he goes yeah harry used to work um in race cars and i'm like what he used to work on race cars and work on i guess racing teams and stuff like that i didn't even know that and I'm like, oh my God, that makes so much sense. And we started talking and everything and Harry's going, yeah, I'm going to help him. I'm going to help him find parts and I'm going to help him fix the car. And then I'm going, you know, I didn't want to do spirit reading this morning on the way to work. It's like six in the morning and I'm like, let's just end it here. So I'm trying to end it nicely and politely. And, and he just said he was proud of James, not just for what he does, but who he is. Of course, they all say that, but he really was. He's just proud of the man. And then as he was fading away, his Aunt Candy, who died a few years ago, started popping in. And I'm like, no, I don't want to do a, a whole spirit reading. No, 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 no. But she was like laughing and joking because she was like that. Uh, she was an accountant, but also funny. And she was like trying to come in. I'm like, Candy, please, no, I just want to ride to work like a normal person. So she ebbed away. But then she came right back going, no, no, no. Just tell him that I'm going to help him with finances. I'm going to help him with money. I'm going to help him with all his money problems. And I'm like, okay. So I said that to him and everything. And, and shortly thereafter, uh, I think they, they just faded away. But they just had that quick message. But I thought I would share that. One last story before I think I'm going to go into another surgery. And I'm going to come back kicking and fighting like a like a hellion and I'm going to come back like a bouncy rubber ball just back to my normal self and I just wanted to share that story with you all uh, and I'm going to post this later this morning uh, that's, that's it thank you